Well, hi. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can actually make use of a micrometer school guys in determining a physical quantity that we call length. Okay, so now, in a case where a rule has some shortcomings, of course, there are there are some substances whose lengths can be measured using a rule. So, in a case where a rule can be used, a micrometer screw gauge can be used. Imagine if we asked you to measure the length or the width of a strand of hair. You would actually struggle if you were using a rope, but a micrometer screw gauge can actually help you. So let's let's quickly look at the parts of a micrometer screw gauge. So we have a ratchet, then a downward grip, then there's a thimble, and then there's a sleeve. And uh, these are the two scales of a micrometer screw gauge. The thimble. That's where you find the other scale. And then on the sleeve, there's another scale. Then there's a lock nut, an anvil, and a spindle. Take note of these parts because as we answer some questions, I will actually be mentioning all these parts. Then we have the zero adjust screw, and then there's a frame. So this is called the frame. Uh, so now how does the micrometer screw gauge work? So the micrometer screw gauge works using the screw principle. When a screw makes one complete turn, it moves through a distance equal to the pitch of the screw. One complete turn of the screw indicates half a millimeter, which is the scale of the sleeve. Each division on the thimble, on the thimble, let me take you back here. Which one is the thimble? It's this one here, okay? Each division on the thimble indicates that the screw travels one fifth of half a millimeter, which is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter, millimeter. So that's actually the accuracy of the micrometer screw gauge. So now, what are the zero errors? The zero errors. So you have to make sure that before you begin to use the micrometer screw gauge, uh, here there is a zero here on the scale of a thimble. It has to coincide with this line, which is on the sleeve. But in a case where you happen to have, let me let me let me walk you through the zero errors here. When the zero is at the bottom of this line, which is on the sleeve, then we're going to have a positive zero error. And this is the correct way of starting to use. The micrometer screw gauge, the zero has to coincide with the line on the sleeve. In a case where the zero happens to be on top of this line on the sleeve, then you're going to have a negative zero error. So how do you deal with these errors? So what it is, is with a negative zero error, after you do the calculations, you have to add whatever value that you're going to have here to the final answer. With a positive zero error, you need to subtract that positive zero error from the answer that you're going to find. Now, I know this time around, this may not make sense, but uh, as we work through the probes, you're going to see what I'm actually talking about here. Let's take a look at this problem here. We do one or two examples here. So we have this problem here. <coughs> uh, how do you read this one? So this is a zero, and that's 0 0.5, and that is uh, one. Then 1.5, this is one, 1.5, that is two. 2.5, that is three. So that is 3.5. There are other de demarcations there which are smaller. <laughs> But they aren't shown here, but you need to know. When you look at the rule, you will see that uh, from zero here, we have those demarcations. One, two, three, four, 
The fifth one is actually longer than those smaller ones. Then six, seven, eight, nine. Then we have 10 here. So those are 10 millimeters. From here to there, we have 10 millimeters. But the 10 millimeters equates to one centimeter. So I'm just, I've just brought in this analogy so that you understand what is happening here. It's not magic. There are other demarcations that haven't been shown. So uh, if we are counting from on, on, on this uh, rule, we will say 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. The longer one, that's 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. The moment we hit 10, that becomes one. That's one centimeter. Equally, that's what we are actually uh looking at here okay so that's zero point those smaller demarcations haven't been shown so 0.5 6 7 8 9 that's zero that's one 1.5 that is uh 2 2.5 3 3.5 so the read the reading on the on the on the sleeve is 3.5 millimeters then <clears throat> We come here, we check what we have. So this is, we check how the numbers are moving. So that's 41, 42, 43, 44, and that's 45. This one is 46. This is 45, so we are going to 46. 46. Okay. So now this one, which is on the theme box, should be multiplied by 0 0.01. So now when you multiply 46 times 0 0.01, what you get? So what you have is 0 0.46. 0 0.46. So that's the answer here. Okay, so now after you found the reading on the thimble and the reading on the sleeve, you have to add them now. So the main reading now is 3.5 plus 0 0.46. What is the answer now? So we have 3.5 plus 0 0.46, which equate to 3.96. 3.96. Millimeters, so that's the reading there. Let's do this other one. So that's five. We're starting on five, that's 5.5, 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5. The reading on the sleeve is 8.5 millimeters. What then is the reading here on the thimble? So that's 45. We check 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, that's 48. 48 has to be multiplied by 0 0.01. 0 0.01, what do you get? 0 0.01 multiplied by 48, which gives us uh, 0 0.48. Okay, so now after finding the answer, we need to add the reading on the sleeve to the reading on the table. So what would be the answer? That's 8.5 plus 0 0.48. 0 0.48 plus 8.5. And that gives us 8.98. 8.98 millimeters. And we're good to go. So now let's now move on to the examination uh, question, which is a past paper based question. We'll see if you're able to answer that. Uh, so we have that question there. They're saying Figure 1.1 shows part of a micrometer screw gauge, an instrument used to measure a physical quantity. And then it's saying, what is the reading shown on the micrometer? What's the reading shown on the micrometer? So here we go. We start from here. 
So that is zero. We have one. 1.5, that's 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5. So the reading on the slave is 4.5. Millimeters. What's the reading on the table? So we have 25, that is 26, 27, 28, 29, that's 30. So that is 31. The reading on the thimble is that one, and that has to be multiplied by the accuracy of the micrometer spoolage, which is 0 0.01. And what do we get? That is that one times 0 0.01, which gives us 0 0.31. Okay, we can now add the two. So now the reading is what 4.5 plus 0. 3, 1, which equal to as 4.5 plus 0 0.31, which gives us 4.81, 4.81 millimeters. So we can now quickly come here and indicate 4.81 millimeters. Let's move on to the next question now. The next question. What physical quantity is measured by the instrument? The physical quantity measured by the instrument is actually length. And then what is the function of the ratchet? I actually emphasized on you taking note of the parts of micrometer square. So the ratchet, the ratchet is this one, this one, this one here. So this one is used to move the spindle. You can play back the video so that you see what the spindle is. So the ratchet, it, it, it is used, it is used to move The well, and you're good to go. I used to go out there and hammer any question that has to do with determining the reading on the micrometer school yet. In the next video, I will show you how we make use of the vernier calipers. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.